hello and welcome back to everything tumblr tutorials my name is rebecca escott and i really hope that you guys enjoyed the last 12 days of christmas tutorials today will be the final one so of course i wanted to save grinch for last so for this tumblr design i am working with a 20 ounce tumblr and i wanted to do a half and half design so I'm going to use a portion that I already pre-cut with the 12 by 12 sheet from AB Designs. So when doing a half and half tumbler and using a smaller section of vinyl, I have found it much easier to line it up with the bottom and then press in the center, working the backing off and then pressing down the sides. If you have any uneven vinyl here at the bottom, we're just going to use our edge cutting tool and trim it right off. Also want to mention that this tumbler is not being sold and I have since given this to my beautiful daughter-in-law. She is a huge fan of the Grinch and this was the perfect gift. It was also a perfect opportunity to make a beautiful tutorial for you guys. So once we have everything masked off, we're then going to go ahead and spray it a flat white. It doesn't have to be flat, but that's just what I had on hand. Your spray section is completely dry. We're then ready to go in with the acrylic paints from Hippie Crafter and start painting the tumbler. As you notice, I normally peel my tape and masking off right away, but since we're going in with the acrylic paints, it was necessary to go ahead and leave them so that we didn't have to retape later. It doesn't matter if you start with your green or your red first. We're just going to go ahead and paint in those sections, leaving the center open. So to start off, I just added a little bit of green. I go in with a little bit of red, and this way I can kind of find where my center is going to be for the white and where we're going to start blending. If it's easier for you, absolutely mark up at the top so that you know just where your center is. I did apply two coats of each color before I started blending, just to make sure that I had that nice, rich color that I wanted before I started the blending. So when I start blending my white, I always like to start blending with the lighter color first. I do use the same exact brush to blend both the green and the red, and I just wipe my brush off in between. I'm gonna speed things up here just a little bit, but you'll see that I continue to go over it until I am happy with my blend. Okay, once you've achieved the blending and you're happy with it, then we're gonna go ahead and remove the masking and the tape right away. If you don't feel comfortable, you can certainly wait until your paint has dried. So once my paint section had fully dried, I then went in with my nail tape. I can do this before applying epoxy because I don't have any chunky glitter bits to have to worry about. So this went on perfectly and I had no problems with it attaching and applying to the tumbler. So I chose for the green side a perfect matching nail tape and then I applied a beautiful metallic red for the red side. That was completed. I then went over it with a one millimeter black just to really enhance the sides of the tumbler. Then once that was complete, I was able to go in with my very first coat of epoxy. For my first coat of epoxy, I am using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. Now that our tumbler is fully cured, we're ready to go ahead and prep our water slide. I did purchase this super cute Grinch water slide from Etsy, so I'll be sure to have the link down below. I also went ahead and painted my bottom. It has had time to dry. I just want to be super careful to not nick it while I place my water slide. As usual, when I use water slides, I really like to place them face down, which prevents them from rolling. After just a couple of minutes, I do tend to flip them right side up. Water slides are pretty easy to tell when they're ready to release from their backing, but if you feel any resistance whatsoever, just place it back into the water and give it a few more minutes. Water slides should slide right off their backing. Wetting down the surface of your tumbler isn't really necessary. It's just something that I've always done right from the beginning old habits die hard so once you're pretty sure your water slide is ready we're just going to go ahead and place it right onto our tumbler sliding the backing very carefully from up underneath just making sure that we're not actually pulling on the slide itself so you wouldn't want to tear it and or rip it at this point 
This water slide has also been sealed three times with clear seal from Rust-Oleum, each time drying in between. It's always very important to seal your water slides with the clear seal from Rust-Oleum to lock in those inks. If you don't seal this before placing it into the water, all your ink is gonna bleed and you're just gonna have to print and start over. So just make sure once you've printed your slide and it's dry, spray it three times, allowing it to dry in between each spray. So if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I don't do anything super fancy. And here I'm just using a paper towel, again, that I've simply used from the very beginning. You wanna make sure that you kinda dry out the water slide, check for bubbles, make sure you get all those. And there was one right there, um, right above the A in drama, but I caught it and I was able to get that out. If for any reason your water slide has dried and then you noticed a air pocket, just use your weeding pen to pop it and very gently press it down. Try very hard not to manhandle the water slide once it's dry. So after about 30 minutes, my water slide was completely dry and I was able then to go in for another coat of epoxy. For this coat of epoxy, I am using Fasa from Counterculture DIY and I decided to add in MJ's Magic Mix, the gold, just to give this a little extra sparkle. And here she is, almost completed. This tumbler only needed one more final coat of epoxy and it was officially completed. Serena absolutely loved it as she is a huge Grinch fan. So this was a super fun tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And this is the final tumbler for the 13 days of Christmas. If you liked this tutorial and all the rest, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon.